Friday the 13th, but no ordinary, normal, unlucky Friday the 13th. Because the 13th of every month in this normal, small, semi-suburban southern town outside Atlanta, the 13th is a different sort of day. Yes, in Conyers on the 13th for over a year now, the Virgin Mary has been appearing in the sky to one woman here and thousands, thousands of pilgrims have come from around the southeast to see and marvel in this visitation. You can see the tour buses behind me from many states lined up. They've just dropped off their pilgrims who are now in the immediate vicinity. If we look over here, we can see a line of pilgrims lined up in front of this mobile home, or motor home, I'm sorry, uh, to hear confessions from a priest that speaks four languages, including Filipino. Here in Conyers, it's around 10.30, and the pilgrims have departed their buses, coming from as far away as Iowa, and other points that we haven't even noticed yet. Just look at the license tags. Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina. They come from far, they come from near, to see what, we're not sure yet. But let's take a look around and see what's happening. Since the initial appearance of the Virgin Mary in Conyers, things have gotten a bit organized out here. Several structures have been built, parking lots have been constructed, and signs, of course, have been put up. You only hear the apparition room this way, information and books down that way, and the restrooms, of course, uh, on the other side of the information center. And, of course, as we can see here, news media from around the world has gathered to cover this miraculous event. Greetings. Glad to be on TV today. Where are you all from? Ah, Turner people, they're always around. As you can tell, there are people from around the world here, for as the signs say, confessions are heard in English, Spanish, French, Italian, and Filipino. And you can see the long line of people waiting for a confession in one of these five languages. Here we are outside the multitudes of Our Lady of Conyers visitation site. As you can see, the crowds have begun to assemble in mass, waiting to see something. We're right now outside the apparition room, and the people, as we said, are waiting. Let's talk to a few of them. Have you been to Conyers before? Yes, this is our second trip, and it's wonderful. Everybody should come. Have you seen anything in past trips here? What have you seen? There was a lady next to, sitting next to my husband, who she's had this rosary for 35 years, and it changed color. And the chains on my medals turned color. Do you have those with you now? No, we send them to family members for blessing. How far did you travel to come here? About 48 miles west of Nashville, and we have people here with us from Florida that met us up here. We love it here, everyone should come. It's Thank you. A woman has come over 300 miles and she said her medals have changed colors in past trips. No telling what will happen on her trip today. Hear me better now. Excuse me, how early did you have to come to get these seats here? Well, frankly, uh, we kind of snuck in here. Uh, we only got here about uh, 15 minutes ago. Uh, good work. Have you been here before? Yes, yeah, this is my second time. What did you see the last time you were here? Well, I smelt the roses and it just blew me away. It was very exciting. The man smelt the roses. Yet another miracle here in Conyers, the smell of the roses. And today, even though we can't capture it on videotape, we will see if we too can smell the roses. <laughs> ah, and here's some other pictures. Uh, Right over here. Are th these were taken here. In their house, you, you can see you can see uh, the figure of Blessed Jesus show in a picture. I was praying for somebody, and the body of Jesus here, here is made of babies. And here, the Blessed Mother is holding a baby. He has she has a baby in her baby in her lap. 
I live 400 feet from an abortion mill in Greenville. Just so the Lord is telling us something. His head is made of one baby. His shoulder has baby. On his arm there is a baby. He's pointed to the Holy Spirit. And he has another big baby here. And there's baby here, down there. Another lady took the picture from the same place on February the 13th. And I look at the picture, the same scene. I saw Jesus the same way. She had four pictures with Jesus appearing in it. And this was taken, taken March, uh, I mean, January 13th. She had the picture, the same one. And it was taken February 13th. That's amazing. And we hope to see more pictures like that today as it approaches 12 noon. I saw, I saw something different. I saw rays over the sun, overlapping the sun in the sign of a cross. And when I turned my head, I thought maybe it was just my eyes because they were uh, watering. And then when I turned my head back, there they were again. It was a huge cross overlapping the sun. That's what I saw. I also saw the sun spinning, but in, in, and then after that, I saw the crucifix. What do you hope to see today? Oh, I don't care to see anything. I hope to gain many graces from our Blessed Mother and her son, Jesus. Thank you very much. Oh. Yes, yeah, so you were here on that same day? I was here. And what did you see, sir? Well, okay. I was okay. Second. She, said, she said, watch the sun. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. She said, watch the sun. So everybody turned ahead and watched the sun. Well, I heard that the pe people, you know, lose their sight watch the sun. So I looked up and it made one flip. Then I closed my eyes. Then I looked again and I seen this big black circle around it. And that's when I turned my head down again and I had to rub my eyes. Because I got eye trouble the way it is, you know. And that was it. Thank you very much. We should receive prayer. Say it out the sun. Shortly after I took those pictures, the announcement was that that Mary said no photographs. This was actually announced, but I took the photographs before they said no photographs, so I feel like I have not done anything wrong. But here's a photograph of the crowd. We see nothing in there. Simply the trees overhead, it looks like it's a colder day than it actually is. But the second photograph does reveal something amazing. It is a cross where the sun is with a strange hovering object over the sun, which was not there when I took the photograph. Could it be a chalice? Could it be a, uh, it looks like a spur or something. I'm not sure what that is. But something is in the photograph that was not there when I took the picture. Is it a miracle or is it a photograph? We don't know, but we were told no photographs. But these photographs were taken right before that. And we can take video though, and we will now look at the sun with the viewer. Miracle viewer replaces over the sun so it will not damage the sensitive iris of this camera. Well, Nancy has said she's seen the Virgin. No one else has said they've seen anything that we've spoken to today. But obviously, people are still here and in prayer. So we'll leave it up to them and we'll see what the news says tonight about this. But the main problem is trying to get our car out of this parking lot because, hey, it's a crowded parking lot. So if we get out of here, it might be a miracle.